Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. You know, this doesn't look like a lot, but there's a lesson here. Welding small pieces of sheet metal is very difficult. This one took me three tries. That one took me one try. <laughs> this is an all-day affair yesterday. I'm, I'm glad I didn't help it. Was, uh, it was a pain in the butt. Anyways, that's what I learned. Go thicker if it's a small piece. All right, let's check in with Miles with the tiles over here. How's it going, bro? What's up, guys? Dude, it's looking awesome. Yeah? Yeah, looks phenomenal. This is gonna be, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Do you think this could be better than Mike's <laughs> bathroom? I think so. You think this could be better than Mike's? I, I, I don't want to let Mike's go. I'm kind of rude. Right, right. Yeah, right. I, you know. e equal or better, right? All right. So, it's looking amazing. Miles is doing a phenomenal job in here. The tile's super clean. Even though it wasn't red, I do like this. I do. So anyways, let's go find your bus. You should do red grout. Mmm, I don't know if that would work. It totally will. <laughs> That'd be I, cool. I think he's messing. Um, are you messing with me? No, I'm not. I'm being serious. Let's do red grout. Uh-oh. I'm thinking gray. Okay. We'll settle down. All right. All right, guys. Uh, here's a sneak peek of the bathroom. Still got, there's part of a wall that needs to be done. I can't tell from outside. Actually, maybe the whole wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also we haven't left for, uh, I think we're going to go up to Cheyenne. What'd your mechanic friend say? Is he, is he coming? Uh, he may be in. Really? Yeah. We're waiting on a mechanic friend. Having mechanic friends, as you know, is a great thing. Uh, too bad we didn't have Badge here to check it out for us. But, um, so that may or may not happen today. But, this thing is looking good. I'd say we're about three quarters done. We just have this one wall here, and part of the wall here. That looks excellent up on the wall. Um, they use part of the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, paper thing that I made to trace out that as, uh, as a trace for that. So if anybody has, if anybody takes off the front and back ones, if you can, hang on to them. Um, just to at least make yourself a trace because it's a lot easier once you're doing stuff. But God, that looks phenomenal. Good job. Right, guys, we are now in uh, outside Cheyenne, Wyoming. That's the correct address. We we're pulling up to the property. We had a very nice uh, uh, kind of existential thought on the way. Now, tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm like giddy. I'm out of my own skin. I'm so giddy. <laughs> I know the feeling. So there is the bus. We're, I think, 10 minutes early. So um, hopefully the guy is... Uh, doesn't have the tire or we don't weird him out a little bit. Looks like the door to it is open. Maybe we should, yeah, let's park here and oh, there's a couple cars. So, uh, 2010, I see a little rust. Hopefully, it's not a rust bucket, but if anything else, it is a good uh, practice for, uh, for something that we're gonna find potentially. Potentially, potentially. All right, so here's what we have we have a 40 foot long. Bluebird All American 2010 with a remanufactured 8.3 Cummins and uh, fired the thing right up. It's pretty clean. We haven't really looked under it too much. Here's what the inside looks like. Pretty, uh, pretty nice condition. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have like, I mean, it's a 2010, so it's not that bad. You know, not really any rust. Along that thing, it's only eight years old. It's a rear engine. I've never actually driven one of these things before. No, I've sat in these <laughs> before as a kid. Bro, you excited? Yes. <laughs> All right. I have no idea. Let's take this thing for a spin. This is gonna be my first try time driving a flat nose bus. Here goes nothing. So much. Remember, yeah. I told you about the air brakes. So okay. Just hang on to that. Point it towards me. We're gonna wait for this uh, truck. To pass. Are we recording? We are recording. A red light is on. We are recording. So this is a, the first time I'm driving a flat nose bus. So Steampunk Steve, I know this is gonna make you happy. Uh, it's a little weird. You sit in front of the tires, but Steve is right. It's super comfy. <laughs> it's super comfy. Right. 
All right, here we go. We're taking this bad boy for a ride. 2010, 8.3. Oh my God, this thing is smooth. It's like driving a city bus. All right, I got it floored. Looking out my uh, rear view mirror, side view mirror. No bizarre smoke coming out. Smooth transition, lots of power. I mean, I, I feel like I'm floating on air right now. We're, I'm gonna have you drive this thing on the way back. Sweet. Um, dude, this thing drives nice. Yeah? I mean, yeah, I, mean, I just floor it right now, downshift a little bit. We got plenty of power. Super smooth. Um, I mean, it rides really, really well. <laughs> but this drives better than my bus. Like, no joke. Really? Yeah. It's it's a smoother ride than my bus. You'll see what I'm talking about when, once you get behind the wheel. Okay. Like, I'm, not, I'm not sure where we're going to turn around. Uh, that horn has to go. We'll, we'll get you an air horn. There you go. <laughs> hey, now what do you think? I think this is pretty cool. It's pretty smooth, right? It's really smooth. Yeah, very, very smooth. So I, I've been in buses, gone cross country, on a bus. Yeah, this is like a coach, like a tour bus. So we do have a little issue with uh, the brakes. It's making a little noise. The bus, that could be from um, the, uh, the brakes just sitting and rusting and not being used. We don't know, but actuating the brakes is, is making some kind of noise. So something to be aware of. But uh, I think we're just going to take a little drive and uh, we'll check this, in. This drive's so easy, Jen could drive this. Oh, that's the wife. The wife can drive the bus. You hear that? Yeah, this is a pretty, it's a pretty good ride, isn't it? Oh, this is simple. Piece of cake, right? Piece of cake. Alright, we're at the truck stop, and guess what? Reed bought a bus! <laughs> Alright, so what do you think, man? Oh, this is, is surreal. It really is. Alright, do you think Reed is crazy for selling his house and buying a bus? Comment below. Um, I, I, just like we took it uh, on a test drive. Drives well. I, I haven't figured out the bright and the not bright lights yet, but we figured out how not to make the horn honk anymore. You know, that's an accomplishment in itself. Yeah. But, <laughs> it is. anyways, brand new, uh, brand new bus. Uh, 10,000 miles on a remanufactured Cummins 8.3. It's a 40 foot bus. Uh, you don't have to say how much it was, but I think it was a pretty fair deal. Oh, I got a screaming deal. Joe, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I called Badge, I called Mike, I called uh, Brock at Bus Life Adventure. I even gave my two cents, and we got uh, pretty much the price that we all ballpark. Right in between what everybody said. So and I think I, I don't have to get in trouble with my wife. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yep. So 2010. So uh, we're going to go celebrate with a burger and uh, drive back to Denver. <sighs> drive two hours back to Denver. All right. We just had a little burger. I don't recommend this whatsoever, but I'm letting Reed drive his bus to, uh, back to Denver. The only reason I don't recommend it is uh, it's nighttime and uh, he's not used to it, <laughs> as you can see by that bumpy ass thing. So um, if you do, Drive these things in the daytime, get used to them first, and then try and, you know, tackle it at nighttime. All right. By the way, we're back. <laughs> I stayed over at uh, Reed last night. He's super pumped about that new bus, and I am super stoked for him, but I'm also super stoked for these countertops. Uh, Eric, dude, high five. You did a fantastic job on the table, the epoxy. Um, it, do you want to explain what exactly this is here? Again, it's yeah, it's a two-part epoxy resin mix. You, uh, you know, there's a we'll, we'll have a the video on that too with all the details and everything. But, uh, yeah, uh, on your channel? Yes, on my channel. On Excellent. Wanderboom. Check out Wanderboom if you haven't. On YouTube. And uh, but yeah, you basically just equal parts of uh, resin and hardener. Mix it all up for about four to five minutes, and pour it on. It spreads itself out pretty nice, and then you hit it with a heat gun and spread it out to get rid of all the air bubbles and uh, end up with uh, oh, beautiful glossy top. This is incredible, incredible. So let me just run you through what I did so far. I'm trying to help out Eric. Sadly, he's leaving us today, but I will see you in a couple weeks. That's right. So uh, I, I, I sanded off the, the bottom part, which is this, the little drippings, and then obviously took off the uh, duct tape here like so. And uh, we're just getting it prepped and installed. Let's go have a peek what it looks like. All right, now I know the light is a little off, but you can get a pretty good idea what this thing is gonna look like installed <laughs> so this is countertop number one 
<laughs> I mean, this is this is awesome. You you could you could do a zamboni off of this table here, this countertop. So, which please don't spill your drinks on my uh, my countertops. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go work on the other one, and then uh, we'll have a peek once once it's all installed. All right, now final thing I did was I touched up the bottom of this. Not that I care about the bottom of this, but I care about the bottom of this because you can see it when you're walking from the back to the front. So I just matched all that to uh, you know to go together so the tops and the sides and the bottom look the same. Eric, what is going on over here? Uh, I'm prepping for some legs here. Uh, you got this nice hardware for that uh, collapses and... Uh, a little, little tricky but it's nice. Yeah, but then yeah, so the legs can close up underneath like that and then lock, and they lock but they lock open when they're when, when in place. Excellent, excellent. So this is for the... The chess table. Chess table slash dining table slash entertaining table slash whatever the heck table. <laughs> and it's going to slide under one of the benches. All right, this is what uh, the current situation looks like here. Eric is uh, having some fun. <laughs> and when I say fun, I use that term loosely. Deep cabinets. Yep, yeah, he's having some fun drilling into the cabinets to um, attach them to the... Uh, uh, well, drilling into the countertop from the cabinets. I think I said that correctly. Uh, <laughs> so next one we have is over here. This is going to look a lot different once we're outside in natural light. It's a little we're getting tint. We, we got uh, fluorescent bulbs, got a flashlight, but um, this camera does a pretty good job of, you know, pick, picking up a uh, low light here. So this is more or less what. It's like a spat. <laughs> Believe it or not, indirect works better. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So this is kind of an idea of what everything's going to look like. This is where the sink is going. The stove is going over there. Um, but, uh, you know, color is, like I said, it'll change a little bit depending on the light source. Wow, that's some noise, huh? Uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to let uh, Eric do what he does best. So, by the way, Eric has been hanging out for three weeks or so, three weeks, yeah. something like that. So, I can't thank you enough for coming by. It was completely out of the blue. We didn't know each other before this, but nope. now I, I feel like we're going to be lifelong friends. Absolutely. So, um, uh, he just uh, secured the countertops to the cabinets. Still got a, uh, a little bit of work to do uh, for the rest of the bus, but yeah. this part is pretty much done. Do you want to explain... What exactly is going on here? Yeah, well, again, this side is uh, got we got the the cooktops going here. Undermount sink is over here. Um, so got a real nice uh, little the, the refrigerator will be down underneath here. So you got a nice little tight little triangle uh, for the work triangle, as they say. <laughs> and uh, plenty of room on this side for just for your prep or whatever you want to do. You got your uh, room for uh, Vitamix or any other fun stuff. Oh yeah, definitely got a there. definitely got a, a blender. Yep, Blendtec. Yeah, so, so now, yeah, there'll be more of this material, basically, again, kind of covering our the top here around the around the, the, the benches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, Reed going to be able to help out a little bit on that. Yeah. Uh, the or if, if for some reason it's still not happening in a couple weeks, we could wrap it up down in uh, Exactly, Arizona, so. exactly. Hopefully, well, Reed is a little excited. He's got a new bus, so. <laughs> he <laughs> but, might be a little preoccupied. Focus, Reed, focus. Stay on us. Uh, but, yeah, um, but, yeah, this is incredible. So we're doing it, yeah, undermount. This is all uh, epoxied. The sink is going to sit under the wood level here. Cooktop is going to go over. We're going to have to uh, cut out some of this uh, yeah, uh, little, uh, cabinet, right you know, for, for, for some of this stuff, I think. Yeah, that one might. But yeah. th this one for sure. We're going to have yeah. a little bit there. Yep. But these things are incredible. I mean, it almost looks like some kind of slab. Um, just awesome stuff. So, I, I honestly, I can't think of it. Here, bring it in for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, it's been Thank a lot of fun. you so much. It's been, it's been fun. Yeah, likewise. So, uh, if you haven't already, check out Wonder Boom. Um, and also, if you need some countertops or something like that, uh, he is uh, for hire. That's right. And is going to be traveling around and uh, checking out cool places, uh, making videos with his lovely wife. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he does great work. So if you guys are in the market for a countertop, yep, or any look no further. Fun woodworking tool, you know, stuff. Yeah. So uh, uh, what, all about what, what's your background? Well, yeah, I, I've spent I've been 25 years in the trades of all different kinds, and uh, uh, 
went a number of years doing fine carpentry and trim work and things, so uh, I can do anything on uh, regular houses or on buses and vans and everything else. So cool. uh, people, yeah. you know, want uh, like uh, like the chessboard table or you know anything like that, yeah. or backgammon for all that matter. There you or, go. Uh, whatever. But if you're not a chess player, <laughs> yeah. I mean, from uh, yeah, from all the basic rough framing all the way down to trim carpentry. So uh, cool. The and works. cabinets and all that fun yep, stuff. And, yep. Yep. All that, all that good stuff. Perfect. So. Well, uh, I will see you in a couple of weeks over at the uh, van build party. Yep. Absolutely. And by the way, if anybody wants to come out, meet uh, Eric, uh, hang out uh, with anybody that you've seen in the videos who said they will be there, uh, Steve, Mojo Bus, any of those guys, Jamie, come on out. Uh, I will be there most of the month, I believe. Um, Definitely got to finish up a couple things here <laughs> before I hit the road. But uh, come on out, hang out. It's a really cool group of people. You might even be converted to a, a bus person afterwards. So, yeah, it's a good time. Getting a... Uh... Eric's card there. <laughs> we stapled in a uh, magnet here, so for everyone to see. Oh, you stapled right over your phone number. <laughs> of Anyways, there it is. Uh, Eric Vanderboom, Eric and his tools. Real, real, you know, thoughtful name, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>